Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively. Do you know Sally? Sally? She is a bachelor girl. She is an excellent designer. Many of the company's advertisements are her child trains. Why is she still single? She must have a face that would stop a clock. Oh, quite the other way round. She is a knockout. She devotes much of her time to her career. Oh, uh, that's Greek to me. That means they have tapered legs. Well, mine are baggy. They're the kind of pants you can lounge around in. Mine are, too. So maybe we shouldn't go out after all. Yeah, let's just lounge around. Are you a newcomer? Yeah, this is my first visit here. You speak good English, though. Thanks, but I speak English with a strong German accent. But let me tell you, you're doing just fine. I couldn't do half as well as you do when I was learning German. By the way, how long have you been learning English? On and off, for quite a few years. Jacob, are you interested in helping me out and going on a blind date with a friend of mine? That depends. What does she look like? Well, she's got a beautiful face and long curly red hair. How tall is she? She's fairly tall, maybe two inches taller than me. Is she chubby? Not at all. She's actually very athletic. It sounds like she's pretty good looking. Does she wear glasses? No, but she does wear contact lenses. How's her skin? She's got a gorgeous complexion with a few freckles on her nose. Does she have any piercings or tattoos? I think she has her ears pierced and she definitely has a few tattoos. What's the tattoo on her foot like? It's a butterfly. Everyone in her family has one. Even her mom? Yes, even her mom. What's her personality like? She's a lot like me. So there is something wrong with her. It was beginning to sound like she was too good to be true. What do you do for a living? I'm a doctor. Really? Do you like it? Yes, I do. It's very interesting. What's your job? I'm a bus driver. Oh, do you enjoy it? No, I don't really like it. It's boring. Oh, no, it looks like my computer really has caught a virus. Why? Did you open an attachment? Yes, something called George W. Bush. An hour later, all I see are pictures of George W. Bush in women's clothes. I kind of like it. He looks better that way, doesn't he? More presidential. I preferred the forward with pictures of him side by side with monkeys. Yeah, their expressions were exactly the same. How do you like this dress? It's nice, but what kind of dress are you looking for? Something attractive and dressy. Maybe a little sexy too. New Year's Eve is a special occasion and it only happens once a year, right? Of course. It's common too that we wear something special for our Chinese New Year. People here always wear the best clothes they have. Many people go out and buy clothes especially for New Year's Eve. 
Any other common customs of your new year? Before the new year, we always send greeting cards to our relatives and friends to wish them a happy year. On the street and in stores people usually greet others with a happy new year. It's also common for people to make a new year's resolution. What's that? It's when people quit a bad habit or do something they find hard to do. Many people resolve to quit smoking, lose weight, or stop nagging their wife, etc. However, it usually lasts only for a few days. By the way, where are you going on New Year's Eve? We're going to a nightclub for dinner and dancing. Then we'll go down to the city square for the big celebration. There's always a fireworks display put on by the local government. We all want you to come too. Thanks a lot. You can't beat me at tennis. Do you want to bet? Hi, Mike. Haven't seen you for a while. How's Kathy? We are not seeing each other anymore. What happened? Did you break up? Yeah, I got sick and tired of her nagging all the time. Oh, I am sorry. Maybe you were just emotional at that moment. Do you think you guys can get back together? I don't know. There's plenty of fish out there in the sea. Oh, you are such a dog. They are playing the wedding march, and I have felt tears. I'm very touched, and I can't help bursting into tears at the wedding. Really? I have seen that our wedding, but just Mary's. Mary looks so beautiful in the wedding gown, and I record the moment that I was bride. You are always be the most beautiful one in the world. What is the bridemaid's name? Judy, why are you so interested in her? Don't be so sensitive. Just a casual question. I caught you looking at the groomsman. He's terribly handsome. I wonder why he is chosen to be the groomsman, and why Mary doesn't marry him since he's much more attractive. Why are you so bitter? No one tells worse joke than you. Administer is doing a good job. I'm not sure they'll be as happy as we are. Don't you agree that all the thieves should be punished by cutting off their fingers? I'm afraid many people would turn thumbs down on it. Don't you think in that case, there wouldn't be so much stealing? Definitely. But I think it is too fierce. Okay, Stephen, you're looking at a picture. Please describe what you see. Uh, I can see a red double-decker bus. It's the kind of bus you'll see very often in London. In fact I know this bus is from London because I can see the names, Chelsea, Sloan Square, Victoria, Herring Cross. These are all areas in London. Um, so obviously the bus is in London. Okay, have you ever been on a double-decker bus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many times, many times. When I was younger, you used to get double-decker all over England but now you only tend to see them in the big cities. Oh, really? Um, how much is the fare? Well, it depends on the journey. It's, I guess it's not too expensive, but the minimum price you would pay as, for a short journey, is about a pound. Um, yeah, who can you see on the bus? Can you pick out anyone on the bus who looks interesting? Hmm, yeah. Well this girl here at the back, that's leaning on the door, um, she looks really bored, actually. Maybe she is going to work or something and she doesn't want to go. Is that how you feel on the bus? Uh, 
Well, no, not really, because I haven't worked in England for a long time, so I haven't taken a bus for a long time. So, so you're British, do you missing them? Um, yes, sometimes. Sometimes. When I quarrel with my husband, he didn't even try to cool me out. It takes two to make a quarrel and it takes two to mend fences. I was so angry that I could not keep cool. What I need is just an apology. I've decided to go to the cinema alone this evening. What has caused you to make such a decision? Didn't you used to go with Helen? Helen is nice but she talks a lot. Oh, that's really annoying when seeing a film. It sure is. Charles, do you have any children? Yes. How many children do you have? I have two kids, a boy and a girl. What are their names? Jack and Stephanie. How old are they? Stephanie is 18 and Jack is 24. Are they in school? Stephanie is. She goes to college in Washington and Jack works in Florida. What does Stephanie study? She studies English. Is she here now? No, she's at school. Have you heard that new song by the Beastie Boys? Why do you listen to rap? It's not much different from that heavy metal music you like so much. Heavy metal music is a lot different from rap music. You can dance to heavy metal. Hey, you can dance to rap music. I can't dance to it. And I know you can't either. Because I've seen you try. It's quite cold this early morning, isn't it? Yeah, it's already December, you know. Time sure flies, doesn't it? What time is it, Tom? Just a minute. It's ten to nine by my watch. Is it? I have no idea if I'm so late. I must be off now. What's the hurry? I must catch the 9.30 train. It's plenty of time yet. The railway station is very close. It won't take your 20 minutes to get there. I wish our competition will quit poaching our people. When Susan resigned last week to work for the Sunburst, she was our fourth employee to leave us for them. Have you ever considered that perhaps we have a morale problem among our employees? If everyone is discontent with their work, of course they won't stick around. Well, those do leave will soon find out the grass isn't as green on the other side of sense as they thought it was. I know Sunburst is suffering from inbreeding. Inbreeding is a big drawback from snitching most of their employers from one or two companies. With Susan leaving, we should probably look to someone new on board. Our human resource department is working on it. It's not easy to recruit new employees every few months. It's hard to find qualified people. Maybe we should start shopping around the competitors people. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.